match day vlog it is derby day on merseyside the reds v the blues and i feel absolutely sick with nerves uh, no matter how good i think this liverpool side is or any liverpool side is for that matter and no matter how much i think ever in a crap i will always feel sick with nerves on derby day it is at anfield though so at least this time i think we can all have an effect on the game hopefully the atmosphere will be electric and we'll be able to show you exactly what a Merseyside derby is like but yeah I'm not looking forward to it um, but I do not feel well I feel nervous um, and I will always feel nervous because it seems like there's a lot more for Liverpool to lose here than for Everton I think a lot of Everton fans come to this game not really expecting a lot but really hoping that the team can do something and to be fair before the international break Everton had won like three or four so they, they were in decent form as for Liverpool, we obviously knew what happened at Spurs and then at Brighton. So I'm hoping we can bounce back. But a half twelve after an international break, we all know how Jurgen Klopp feels about that. And we also know that Jurgen Klopp puts out a little bit of a mad lineup when he faces Everton. Um, so I'm not too sure what to expect today. The only thing I can assure you is that Andy Robbo is out for this game and for the foreseeable future. Um, with uh, He's going in for surgery on his arm, on his shoulder. So yeah, uh, that is going to be a massive miss for Liverpool but I'm hoping the Reds will have too much quality too much class and really take the game out of Everton's hands because we have the squad to do it it's whether we play the occasion uh, let's hope we don't let the fans do that let the fans make the occasion what it is but the players it is just another game and let's get down to business before I do get to Anfield though please do like this video and also subscribe to the channel I really appreciate the support on my YouTube channel uh, and it lets YouTube know that you like these videos so thank you so much Anyway, enough of the talking. Let's get down to the derby. A game of football that matters more than absolutely anything in the world in this city, Chloe. That's all it is. It's just a game of football that really matters that you can't possibly lose. There's no need to get nervous whatsoever. <laughs> Thank you. 
yellow. It's half time, it is nil nil. Uh, I'm not too sure how the Reds are winning, if I'm being perfectly honest. The decision making in the final third just hasn't been there. Uh, we've battered Everton, they've been crap, if I'm being dead honest. Um, and all of our chances have came from breakaways from their set piece. We've had three or four unbelievable chances um, to break on them. And every single time, the final ball hasn't been there, or the finish hasn't been there, or the decision making hasn't been there. We should have slotted three of those chances on the break. You just make the correct pass and it's an easy goal. And Liverpool haven't been sharp enough at the end of the pitch. But we've played well, we've recycled the ball well. They're down to ten men. Uh, Ashley Young gets a bucket for the first one, should be a bucket. And then the second one is a nailed on bucket as well. It's his second yellow. He could have been booked five minutes earlier for taking a ball away. He wasn't. He gets booked for wiping out Diaz. Uh, and they're down to ten men. And we've got to hope that we can break them down in the second half, keep moving them side to side, because they're going to sit there and try and counter. You've already done it all game with 11, you're now sitting even deeper with 10. Um, so I'm really hoping the Reds can break them down. We've had some really good passages of play. Towards the end of that half, you can see us getting frustrated and impatient. We need to keep it simple, keep it patient, um, and hopefully get uh, the goals we need because we can't knock them away from this game now with three points against the crap side and the down to ten men. Liverpool get the job done.
why are we looking at it this many times? Do you want to tell us? It's a clear pen.
It is full time on Derby Day and it is 2 0 to the Reds. Liverpool make Merseyside Reds once again and it was never really in doubt, was it? Uh, I had nerves as usual before the game um, and then I came to watch the game and realised just how good Liverpool are compared to whatever that team is. Uh, I can't believe those fans have to watch them week in, week out. They are dreadful. They are absolutely crap. Um, and to be fair, they somehow kept us out for a long time. And I think it was mainly due to the fact that Liverpool on the counter-attack didn't know how to score until the 94th minute uh, when we finally killed the game off. Um, but yeah, the Reds were just were, were brilliant once again and we stuck at it and we were getting frustrated but eventually uh, we get the breakthrough, they get the two red cards. Uh, we, we felt like we needed something like a penalty to really unlock them because they'd went five at the back. Uh, we got that penalty and Mo Salah, the Egyptian king, slots up and puts it past Pickford, uh, who goes moaning about again. Um, and then in the second uh, dying minutes of the game, we finally get the second goal to kill it off. Uh, Mo Salah again, a bit of Darwin Nunes on a counter-attack, believe it or not. The counter-attack we eventually scored from. Um, Darwin Nunes carried it up and with the composure and the calmness to just slot it to Salah, who had half the goal to aim at because Pickford had got off somewhere. Uh, and eventually we did come out, 2-0 winners. We were boss. Um, and look, 2-0 is absolutely boss but it was the idea around 60 minutes in when i thought to myself these are absolutely crap and down to 10 men for you know the best part of 60 minutes um anything but three points is really not good enough um but we eventually get three points and there was nothing to worry about uh, so it's been a boss weekend let's hope other fixtures go in our favor but truthfully i don't care because liverpool have just beaten everton until the next one up the reds